Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Today uh, we're going to be taking a look at these diamond axles from Injora and I'm super excited about them because I've been really 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 wanting to refresh my Defender build from last year and I think that that's going to be a perfect place to start. So the deal with these axles overall is they're, from what I know just off the top of my head, they're four millimeters wider um, and they come fully built. So they have the helical gears, they have bearings, and they have all that stuff in there already. Um, we'll take a look at them and we'll see if they need some grease. Okay, so I already got one axle out, but um, this is how it comes. It's a big box, like a sleeve with two boxes in there containing your axles. I already unboxed the rear, so let's just really, really hope that this is the front. I went for the silver. I just thought it looked super cool. Um, I don't know how well it's going to go with my Defender overall, but since it has all the brass on it, which is already kind of bright anyway, um, I think it'll be fine. But yeah, so here it is. It's, it's definitely got some weight to it. Well, I'll compare it to my... Uh, I don't have a scale, so I'll have to compare it like with my hands, but I'll be sure to compare it to my stock axles with all the brass on there. But yeah, everything feels really smooth. Um, like I said, it comes with the bearings installed. Look, they even gave us uh, some wheel nuts. I mean, it's all there. It's ready to go. So we'll crack one open and we'll take a look and see if it needs any grease. Okay, so I got the screws out. We'll take a look in there. And it actually appears that they did get some grease in there for us. Um, we might put in a little bit more because that feels kind of like a machine oil. But you can also see, um, hopefully, because it's a black gear, but you can see that we got the helical gear in there as well. Yeah, it's smooth as butter. No issues there. And uh, with the added grease, I think this is ready to go. This definitely feels like a very nice, high quality piece of hardware. Here's the front axle. Same, same good quality there, same smoothness. Uh, probably needs grease just like the back, but I'll grease this one off camera. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything looks and feels really good. All right, so I got the front done. Um, as you can see, I stuck the brass parts on. Um, one note that I should make, you'll notice that you have the mount here and my servo is mounted to the back of it. Uh, with the EcoPower 640T, at least, you definitely have to do that or else you will not have uh, clearance right here. Uh, it does work and I'm happy with it. So we'll do a comparison on width with the back. I think that'll be easier because it doesn't have like the moving knuckles and stuff. There's that difference in width for you. Um, I wanted to do it with the axle off the truck, but the neighbor dog wouldn't stop barking. So this is the best I can do. All right, there it is installed. Um, one thing I thought was interesting, it appears that over here you need two screws instead of how you would originally just have the one. Um, there's one on each side now. So that's interesting. Yeah, it's on. Everything's working like it's supposed to. So uh, we'll throw the wheels and tires back on and we'll check it out. Do you feel closer to me now? Because you are. <laughs> I scooted my camera in and I'm experimenting with some camera uh, positioning and some mic positioning. So. Let me know if this sounds better or looks better to you than the beginning of the video because I would be very interested to hear that. Just trying to make better videos for y'all. Anyway, uh, we got these uh, Endora Diamond Axles installed on my TRX4M and I gotta say, they look really great. The install was a breeze and they are super duper smooth. Uh, I'm super happy with them so far. I have not run it yet and I don't plan to make a running video until I'm done with my little refresh plan for this uh, TRX4M. I have a few other things planned, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so this part here should be kind of a good way to test and see if we got any more side hill capability out of the truck with these wider axles on it. Let 
mean, that's pretty darn sideways for a, for a trail truck. See if we can get on top. Anyway, they're really great. Honestly, it's wider. Uh, my tires look a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe where I used to have a little bit of rubbing, I don't anymore, so that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I really like them. So uh, if you're interested, you can get them from Amazon. I'll have a link in the description, and they're pretty good. It's nice having that servo on the axle, honestly. It gives it the crawler, the crawler look, and it's gonna be easier to access and fix than it used to be. And honestly, I mean, it's a little bit more weight, lower and a little bit more forward. So I'm happy with it. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a like. And if you like this type of content, you should subscribe because I make a video every week, at least one. And a lot of the time, it's about the TRX4M or the SCX24 or the FCX24 or FCX18 or whatever. It's always RC oriented. So uh, yeah, you definitely will have something to watch if you subscribe. And that's about it for this video. So uh, we'll see you next time.